you beautiful people, it's Courtney. Welcome back. Uh, I have a new hairdo today because I've been realizing I have like two hairstyles, either straight or curly. So I used to do my hair all the time. I don't really know what happened, but trying something new. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend so far. I am back with another cooking video and this time I'm testing out some BuzzFeed vegan recipes. This has been like the most highly requested BuzzFeed food video for me to do. Uh, I did a vegan version a while back, but I've learned a lot about being vegetarian and being vegan since then. So hopefully this one is a little more of a success. I will link the last one I did down below if you wanna check that one out as well. But today I'm gonna to be testing out three different vegan recipes that come from like Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed articles, Pinterest, all that type of stuff. If you enjoy this type of video, please do give it a thumbs up. And I'm having a giveaway right now running until May 30th. And all you have to do to enter is be subscribed. It is for a $100 Visa gift card. If you're already subscribed, you are good to go. And if you would like an extra entry, you could follow me on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into these recipes and let's go. For this first one, we're doing some cinnamon rolls from scratch. So this does take a bit of time, but I think it's worth it. So we're doing about a cup of almond milk and then three tablespoons of butter. And what you wanna do is melt it in 30 second intervals, um, just kind of stirring in between till it, the butter is all melted and it looks like this. And then what we're gonna do is let it cool to about 110 degrees. The recipe says that's so basically like bath water temperature and then pour it in a bowl and add in the yeast. And you don't want it to be too hot because otherwise it's gonna kill the yeast. So I'm mixing that in and stirring it and then letting it sit um, for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going in with a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt and then just letting that mix in and then I'm adding in my flour. So for the flour you need two and a half to three cups. You just want your dough to form and then um, just until it's like a good dough consistency and you can't really stir it anymore. So that depends if you need that extra half a cup. I used about two, I think I did use the full three cups actually for this. So I did go on the high side till it formed a dough. Once it's all combined, I'm just gonna kind of go in and knead it with my hand. Um, definitely not a professional. This is just kind of how I've seen people knead it on TV, I guess. So not a professional here. And then you wanna let it rise. I let mine rise in the oven with the oven off and the oven light on for about an hour until it doubles in size. In the meantime, I'm taking a half a cup of vegan butter. Um, I guess I didn't mention that the first time. This is an oil-based butter and a half a cup of brown sugar. It didn't say to melt the butter, so I just softened the butter and then stirred it together. And this is gonna be what gives it that like sticky bun glaze, which is delicious. And I'm spreading it in an eight by eight pan. Now I would recommend doing more than this because as you'll see when I'm done, um, some of it was super sticky and the other half could have used more. So I would kind of do a little more than what I did. And then I'm rolling out my dough once it has risen um, with my handy dandy cup that I always use because I do not have a rolling pen still. Um, so then I'm taking some melted butter and spreading it on. Again, vegan butter, it's oil based. That's all I really use anyways. And then I'm taking a cinnamon sugar mixture and just, I didn't measure it or anything. I'm just kind of spreading it on top. You could also use brown sugar if you want instead of regular sugar or both, whatever you prefer. And then I'm just rolling it out. So you wanted it to be in like a long rectangle and then you're just gonna roll it up and then slice it. And this should make about nine to 10 rolls. From there, I'm just going to place it in the pan. And at first it doesn't take up a lot of space, but they will expand, of course, in the oven. Um, so my pan was like half full. And then by the time they baked, it was like completely full. Um, so you wanna bake it at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then I flipped it over onto a plate and then just lifted it up. That way the glaze is now on top. And it's like magic. It was actually super easy and they were delicious. Like I said, the glaze was the best part. So I would do a lot more of that. You could see one side does have more. For this next one, we're trying out a Southwest wrap. I made this homemade hummus out of just chickpeas and lemon and some seasoning and olive oil. And then I did a mixture of corn and black beans, just canned corn and black beans, nothing crazy. I always love trying out like new combinations for wraps. So this was something super easy and delicious. I diced up a tomato as well and I'm putting it on there. 
um, and then just some cilantro. I added some jalapenos and then just some um, like lettuce and spinach mix. It's like a spring mix. And then that's it. And it was really good, really delicious. Um, just, I love this combination. It was just really tasty and just something different from what I normally do. For this last one, we're trying out this buffalo cauliflower. I've been wanting to try this out for so long because so many people say it tastes like it, even though I'm not a huge cauliflower fan. So I'm taking a cup of water and a cup of flour and mixing them together to make our batter. You could also use milk instead of water if you'd like. And then I'm just adding in some garlic powder as well and just kind of mixing it in. I don't really like to measure, I just kind of do it and then I'm just stirring it together. And this is going to be like our little batter that we dipped them in and we are baking them so they are a bit healthier than frying them, which you could also do. So I'm taking my cauliflower and mixing it in and then I just kind of decided to use my hands for this because it was easier and yeah, I'm the one eating it anyway, so I didn't really care. So I'm using my hands and just kind of dipping it and then laying it on a baking sheet. I baked it at 450 degrees for 18 minutes and then I'm going in with some buffalo sauce and mixing in a little bit of olive oil into it and then just stirring it together. And once you've baked your cauliflower for 18 minutes, you want to pull it out of the oven um, for a minute and just pour this mixture on top like so. This did make like a huge mess, I will say, on my baking sheet. Uh, I kind of followed the direction so I don't know why it was so messy. And then you want to uh, bake it for another 8 minutes and then they're done and they were surprised surprisingly pretty good like they don't taste identical to buffalo wings but I would say like this I was highly impressed especially since I'm not a big cauliflower fan the real question now is did I make you hungry uh, I hope you guys enjoy these recipes let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite which one you want to try out and I'll link all the original recipes down below in the description box as well so make sure to check that out and you can click on over to the side of me if you missed my last few videos and I will talk to you all really soon bye